Baby swings are designed to distract, soothe, and entertain your baby. They come in a wide range of styles and sizes, with all kinds of accessories and in every price range. It can be hard to know what to look for when shopping for the perfect swing, especially if you already have a baby demanding your attention. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 4 best baby swings that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number 4, we have Grocco Duet Soothe Baby Swing. The Duet Soothe is one of several Grocco Baby Swings, including the Soothe and Sway Duet Glide, Simple Sway, Everyway Soother, Sense 2 Soothe, Slim Spaces, Glider Light, Duet Connect, Duo Glider, and Soothing System Glider. The biggest differences between these options are the type of motion, size, and advanced features. The Duet Soothe comes in at the relatively basic end with two simple swing motions, front to back or side to side, a normal footprint, and no especially fancy features. It does have one unique feature that we loved, the swing seat can be removed and placed on the ground as a rocker. The rocker is simple and cute, and can be easily carried around with the clever handles they positioned on the sides. The Duet Soothe also has a soothing vibration feature with two speeds, which works whether it's in swing or rocker mode. The seat can be rotated so the baby can swing side to side or front to back, and it can use 5D batteries or plugs into the wall. We highly recommend using the plug or the swing will burn through batteries pretty quickly. Other perks include simple music melodies and sounds, a roomy seat with a headrest and adjustable recline, a great 5-point harness, and a relatively high 29-pound weight limit. Out of the box, it took us about 20 minutes to put together, which was a little longer than we'd hoped. In our testing, we found the motor to be quiet and smooth and the speeds to cover a great range. While some parents have reported of clicking noise during swinging, ours was nice and quiet and continues to be after a few months of use. Coming in at only about 100 bucks, we think this is a great deal on a swing and bouncer seat combination. There are some cons as the Grocco Duet Sue's swing and rockers mobile doesn't rotate around like some others. The only other little gripe that is very common with baby swings is that the vibration box takes its own deep battery and can't be plugged in. At the number 3, we have Munchin Baby Swing. The Munchin Baby Swing uses a smooth and soothing motion that is unique for this list, offering a relatively natural side-to-side -side sway, while maintaining a very compact footprint more similar to a bouncer. Also somewhat unique is the Bluetooth feature, allowing you to use an app on your phone to play your favorite music. The Munchin Swing also includes a small remote control so you don't need to crouch down and use the buttons on the swing to turn it on or off, change the swing intensity, or change the music. Finally, Munchin markets this swing is lightweight and portable, owing to the lightweight frame and ability to pop off the seat for flat storage. Out of the box, the swing was super easy to assemble. Simply attach the seat to the ring base and plug it into a nearby outlet. No screws or other attachments are required. When you want to pop the seat off again for storage, simply push down on the small metal tab behind the control panel and lift up on the seat. Below that metal tab there is a white locking switch that you can use to lock out the swivel movement. Push up on the switch to lock the movement, push down to unlock the movement. It's nice to have a lock to prevent swinging when you're putting baby in or taking them out. The entire swing is indeed very lightweight, coming in at only about 8.5 pounds, which is probably about the same weight as your little one. The seat is one of the best parts of this swing with its super comfortable fabrics and padding that create a very snugly spot for your baby. Not for sleeping of course, just for relaxing. Operating the swing was intuitive and simple. The front touch panel has a power button, a swing intensity button, a timer button, a play and pause button to cycle through the various sounds and songs, and a volume button. The included remote control operates very similarly and has decent range. The app was free for iOS or Android and connected easily and the speaker for streaming music was mediocre quality but definitely good enough for playing music at low volume. Careful, because a clever neighbor or visitor can connect without a password and play whatever music they want. The swaying motion was surprisingly soothing for both babies, especially at levels 1 to 3. Both test parents thought that level 5 was a bit too fast for their baby. Note that this swing has a somewhat low weight limit of 20 pounds, or when your baby learns to sit up or roll on their own. Overall, we've been using this swing for over 8 months now without issue, and we think it's an awesome new addition to our list. Up next at the number 2, we have the Fisher-Price Cradle and Swing. The Fisher-Price Cradle and Swing units are available in a bunch of different themes, some are super adorable and some more adventurous such as the Sweet Snooga Puppy, Sweet Snooga Bunny, Rainforest Friends, and Sweet Snooga Bar. 
The current cradle and swing can swing either side to side or front to back with multiple six-speed settings. The legs fold up for portability and storage, and it includes a wall plug to save a lot of deep batteries. It can also run on four deep batteries if you choose, but we prefer it as an AC-powered swing. There are songs and nature sounds, a motorized mobile, and a rotating and reclining seat. There is volume control for the music and sounds, and an auto-off timer for the mobile, music, and sounds. The swing's motor senses the baby's weight to adjust motor torque to compensate for the weight of a growing baby and keep swinging speeds consistent. Moms thought the seat was very plush and comfortable, and the fabric cover was easy to clean. It's machine washable, by the way. They liked that it had a good weight limit of 25 pounds or 9 months, and some of the themes were ridiculously cute. Out of the box, assembly took about 25 minutes. It wasn't particularly complicated, but there were a lot of connections to be made. Another great touch is that the cradle and swing includes a 5-point harness, which really helps keep your baby safe by preventing them from sitting up, leaning way forward, or otherwise freaking out their parents. The cons is that the cradle and swing does not have a vibration mode and when not plugged in, it burns through batteries pretty quickly. Overall, this is an excellent option. The last product on our list is the 4Moms Mamaru 4. The Mamaru 4 is the best yet, with superior versatility, comfort, and reliability. The most unique aspect of the Mamaru is that it was the first swing or glide soother designed to mimic mom's natural soothing motions. Just like you bounce up and down and sway side to side when you're holding your baby, so that the Mamaru was. Out of the box, the Mamaru swing takes about 5 minutes to assemble and doesn't require any tools. The buttons on the control panel are very intuitive, power, movement settings, speed, and music. We played around quite a bit with the five different motions, car ride, kangaroo, tree swing, rocket by, and ocean wave, and were really impressed with the fluidity of movement, the modern design, and how quiet the system was overall. The speed settings provide ample adjustment range for different babies, and the music options were great. You could also plug in an MP3 player to play music of your choice. In addition to controlling by the front panel, you can download the 4Moms app on your Apple or Android device and control everything remotely. Given the Mama Roo's relatively elevated height, seating angle, and mobile position, we thought this was the easiest baby swing to get kids in and out of without frustration or back strain. We love the wide range of adjustable recline, the removable and machine washable seat cover, and the fact that it plugs into the wall so you don't need to worry about wasting a bunch of expensive batteries. A small practical point is that the Mama Roo has a much smaller footprint than regular swings, making it less likely you will trip over the legs sticking out on the sides, like with the Fisher Price and Graco swings. The smartphone control of the swing was a luxury, but also very convenient if you're cooking or cleaning post C section, or, God forbid, trying to take a nap. The Mama Roo supports babies from newborn up to 25 pounds or 6 months old. Like other baby swings, for safety reasons, you must stop using it once your baby starts to sit on their own. The weight limit is a bit low, but realistically your baby is more likely to hit 6 months old or begin sitting up long before they hit 25 pounds. Overall, this is an excellent, sleek, and good-looking swing-slash-glider that your baby is likely to fall in love with and fall asleep with.